Hello guys, Mr. Rossi 1990 here, and this is Pax to Hybrid episode 3. The first two episodes have gone down really well. We originally started with the pilot episode, which got like 400 likes, which is pretty decent considering the sub box are a bit of a pain in the ass at the moment. The second video is currently on around 390 likes, and I'm doing this, I thought, pretty decent. So you must be enjoying it. Not many dislikes as well. I'm getting the odd dislikes. Everyone's got haters. But here we go. We're going to go again. We are going to buy one bronze pack, one silver pack, one gold pack. If you're just starting to watch this series for the first one, check out the other ones. Bebe? Is that the man you guy? Oh, shit. Not bad at all, actually. He probably sells for a bit, I'd imagine. But, yeah, good start. Portuguese, Manchester United player. Can't really complain about that. Some centre-back from England. Uh, you. Don't we'll use him. Um... Yeah, that's actually quite a good start. That's not a bad player at all from a bronze pack. Probably going to use him because he looks like quite a tidy little player. Again, no gameplay, unfortunately, in my online pass thing. I've tried what you people are sending in the comments about re-putting it in and stuff. It just not let me play online games at all. And I have no idea why. And it's unfortunately it's Sunday today, so I haven't been able to ring up EA. But I will probably do that tomorrow and see if I can get anything done there. Varney. Is that the guy who plays for Leeds? Yeah, it is the guy who plays for Leeds. Found somebody who plays in my favourite club. Maybe we're going to have to use a bit of Varney. Let's put him in the old trade pile. He doesn't look too bad either for 67 at pace, but he's a bronze guy. May have to use him. Bad formation though, unfortunately. Discard the rest and buy the gold pack, which is what we all are looking to get the good player in, which is going to make this hybrid fantastic. Come on. Come on. One good player. Wagner Love. Interesting. Well, strikers seem to be going ham. Oh, he also got Sanctus. Not bad, not bad packs. Not bad packs today. Done well. Done extremely well. Right. Fighting the love. A lot of strikers is the problem. We'll discard that. We'll go into the trade pile and see what we have been given to use today. Let's go to the trade pile, motherfucker. Where's the trade pile at? Here he is. Four things are selling. They're the other ones from the last episode. Not sold yet. So we've got Wagner Love, Bebe. That guy there, he's not actually too bad at 80 at pace. We've also got uh, Watford centre-back, who's not too bad as a bronze. That guy who's a bronze. Varney from Leeds, De Sanctis, Bassa, and Esam, or something along those lines. So I'm going to go make a quick hybrid around them now, and I'll be right back when that's done. So two seconds. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and the three players I chose to do this team around were the right-back, Silver guy, who looks actually quite decent. He's got 80 pace, he's got 4-star skill, 4-star uh, weak foot even, which is pretty good for a right-back of his calibre. He's only 65 overall, he plays in the Liga Adelente for X-Res or something like that. But we whacked him in 4-2-2-2 because that was the formation of Bebe, who we were, of course, going to use because... Is a his stats don't look incredible, but just because he's a Man United player, I thought he probably sells for a little bit. I haven't actually checked his price yet, but he looked like the player to go with, with the bronze players, to be honest. He's not bad, to be fair. He's got, what is it? He's only got two-star skills. It's a bit disappointing. I thought he was quite a skillful player in real life. Doesn't really get a look in at Man U. He's probably gone out on loan or something now. I'm not really too sure. But apart from that, it's a quality player. We've got Wagner Love was the other guy. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot. Pretty good player overall. And now let's slot in the other players to go with them. Starting off with a goalkeeper, we've got a bronze guy. It's actually this guy here. Spanish um, Barcelona player. It's Barcelona B, which is in the Liga Adelante, of course. Um, just I just bought him basically because I like to have a mixture between bronze, silver and gold in these hybrids. Because if I didn't have him, there would only be Bebe being bronze. So I thought, sod it, we'll have a bronze goalkeeper just to go in. But he's actually quite good. I mean, he's got 73 diving. 67 reflexes for a 63 overall. He'd probably be a good player for a bronze Spanish team or something along those lines. Moving on to our first centre-back, which is going to be this guy. Now, he's getting the full link with the goalkeeper and the right-back because of the same club. And, of course, same league, same uh, country with the goalkeeper. So he's getting two full green links there, which is fantastic. He's actually not a bad player overall. 66, 66 at pace, as you can see. 71 at heading, 65 at defending for 200 coins. Couldn't really say no. Fantastic little player there. Other centre-back guy we've got is another Spanish player. So he's getting the link with the goalkeeper and the other uh, Spanish centre-back. But he's a Premier League 
centre-back, he plays for Wigan, he's not bad, he's not great, he's 68 at pace, 67 defending, 70 heading, and apart from that, 400 coins, again, couldn't really complain, that was already in 4 2 2 as well. Moving on to our left-back, it's Jose Enrique, Premier League Spanish left-back, it was either between him or Garrido from Norwich, but I went with Jose Enrique, just to spice it up a little bit, good player, 4,000 coins, pay for him, already in 4 2 2 2 couldn't really be bothered to search for the cards, so again, just probably paid over the odds for him. Moving on to our first CDM, it is the guy I use in most of my teams, it is Ramirez, fantastic player, one of the best midfielders in the game, I'm going to say, I really enjoy playing with him, as CDM, look at some of the stats on this card, 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 76 defending, 72 heading, 79 passing, he's an incredible player, he could fit in any position across the midfield, cam, centre mid or CDM, he will do you a shift. Moving on to the other centre defensive mid, it is going to be Richardson, who is the four-star skill moving, long shot taking, silver, who plays for Athletic Mineiro in Liga do Brazil. Fantastic player, a lot of people have him in like, their skills teams because he can just do skills and he can smash him in from long range. He's a very good CDM to have in this game. Moving on to this, no, this side's cam even. It's going to be Ronaldinho in form. Now, if you want to make this a cheaper one, if you want to make this team, I doubt you will. It's not probably not immense. As, as I said, no gameplay, unfortunately, because of the online pass situation. But hopefully that will get sorted soon. But Ronaldinho in form, five-star skills, four-star week for 80k paid for him, just over 80k. Not bad, to be fair. Probably make our money back when we sell him. But he's a really good player. We all know Ronaldinho by now. Could get the original again if you want to make it a cheaper team, but went with the inform because we had, we had the money to splash and I went with another inform on this side could have had any man you play I do believe probably had to be a, um, could have probably had Kagawa or somebody like that but I went with Cleverly purely because I just wanted to try out some informs in this team I do some offline games with them but no one really wants to see the goals from that they'll just be long range crackers but Cleverly doesn't look like a bad player always a default CDM but I picked him up in Cam for 22k so I thought sod it why not He's around that price in CDM anyway, so I would have had to change him else. But he's got some good stats, 78 pace, 82 dribbling. He's probably more of a centre mid than a cam. He's definitely not a CDM looking at those stats. He's only 60 at defending and 57 at heading. But as I said, his preset default position is CDM, which is a bit strange. But there you go. He fits in that team quite nicely. They are all getting 9 cam. It's doing that stupid thing again where it's saying they're getting 6 and all that jazz. Let's go out and go back in. And hopefully that will change it. There we go, everyone on 9 cam, the morale could again use some love, but there you go, that is a team, pretty good team, there's a few dead links, a lot of people were saying try and reduce the dead links in these hybrids, but when I went with them two strikers, that's kind of impossible because they're not going to get a link together, and then of course Cleverly and Ronaldinho don't link together. And we couldn't really do much with the right back, but apart from that, I think that's a really, really good team, it's probably the best one I've built so far, liking the look of Bebe. And that seems like a pretty good team. It's like a mixture of Premier League, Spanish and Liga do Brazil, which isn't too bad for a hybrid. I actually quite like the look of this team. I might actually go play some games with this team. I might keep this team and see if I can actually get an online pass working. But that's the end of this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If we can get 400 or 500 likes in this video, that would be absolutely insane. You seem to be enjoying this series, which is fantastic. I love doing these videos and you love watching them. What can we do? That is fantastic. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to do comment, like and subscribe. And I'll be back with